welcome back in the second part we will see a sample external module how we include that module into our project and how we we can use that module into our project so we have taken an example of node static it is a module what is a node static it is a static module which serves the static files to the end user to create a node static uh, server what have we have to do we have to declare we have to include that node static before that keep in mind we have to install that node server node static server to install this node static server what we have to do npm space install space node dash static by doing this this node dash static will be installed at this specific place we have to require that node static into our uh, js file then we are defining a variable port with 3000 if we are requiring iptp server that is a default server uh, sorry the de default module then we are declaring a file variable file variable is actually a new static server what we are saying we are defining the new static server with three properties first is the path of the file we are saying that all the static file will be served from public folder which is under the cron directory dot slash public so public is the folder which contains all the static files so node static will serve all the files from public directory then we have a cache it will cache the page for one hour 3600 seconds so it will cache for one hour and then gzip gzip is basically the sending the page to the browser will be in the zip format or uh, an open finger so you can use the gzip true or not then what we are doing it is again the http.create server we are creating the request response cycle and here what we are doing request dot add listener add listener we can use on also so you can see uh, we are putting that listener on an event that is the end event uh, you will come to know the end event end event is actually the end of file that means uh, the request has been received when the request has been received we are serving back here there is a method we have created an object file with the name we, we use we are using file dot serve this is a method of node static and we are passing these two properties request and response by passing this uh, complete properties it will automatically serve search the file and send the file to the end user so you don't need to worry about reading the file or changing the type of the content and etc it will automatically do it for you so this is an example of external module external module is helping you to send static file to the end user and dot resume now you are again sending to uh, uh, after serving the file you are resuming to listen so again it will be listening at port port is 3000 so it will start listening at 3000 this is an example uh, explanation of this this will serve files in the current directory if you want to serve files in a specific directory pass it in the first argument like in this case like we have passed in dot slash public you can also specify how long the client is supposed to cache the files node static so uh, cache is the time so you can specify the time of caching this will set the cache control header telling client to cache for one hour this is a default setting gzip you can enable it or you can disable it enabling support for sending a compressed response this will enable a check for the file that with the same name plus dot gz in the same folder if the compressed file is found and the client has indicated support for gz files transform transfer the contents of the gz file will be sent in place of the uncompressed file so this is a one way out you can send it you, uh, you can gzip or you send it in a normal way out. it's up to you <coughs> so <coughs> again add listener this function is actually uh, taking the control from our node and uh, serving the file to the end user here end is the event request 
is the event emitter and this is a event listener we are listening on end of request when the request will be ended the file will serve uh, serve uh, accordingly so that is all for uh, node static part it is a very short uh, module you have seen now we will come with the uh, hands on practice thank you very much